Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. We're looking at the area between two curves. Let's imagine that we have some function f. This will be f. That'll be g. So f and g are intersecting at a and b here. If I were to integrate from a to b the function g with respect to x, what would that represent on this graph? The area under G all the way down to the X axis, right? So this definite integral represents the area in yellow. Okay, if I were to integrate F from A to B, that would represent the area between F and the X axis on that interval. Okay, so integral of F is the area in green. So how would I get the area between F and G on the same interval from A to B? Yeah, subtract, that's right. So if we were to subtract the area in yellow, the area under G, minus the area in green, the area under F, we would get the area between F and G. Based on our knowledge of properties of definite integrals, we learned that if you add or subtract inside of an integral, you can break it up into two. So we can reverse that and we can put them together into one. So this one would be the integral from a to b of g of x minus f of x dx would be the area here between f and g. Now, will this work in general? Because the graph I just showed you happened to be both functions were positive, right? So let's try to think about what if one of them happened to be negative, for example. How would we find the area between f and the x-axis? Definite integral from a to b of f of x, right? How would we find the area between g and the x-axis? So the integral from a to b of g of x dx would actually give us a net signed area. So it would give us a negative air value, right? The opposite of the area we're looking for. That always happens when you have a negative function. So if we wanted that area, we would have to negate that. So the area between G and the X axis is actually the opposite of the integral from A to B of G of X because G was a negative function. So what do we have to do to get the total area? Just add these together, right? So when we add these two areas, the area in yellow and the area in green together, what do we end up with again? The same integral. Integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x dx. Now I say it's the same, but there is one slight difference. The order. Why did the order have to be different there? Notice that whichever function is on top is going to be the first function. Over here, g was on top. Over here, f was on top. And whichever one is on the bottom is going to be the second function. Okay. And as long as you keep that consistent, you'll always get a positive area. So in general, what are we going to do? We're going to integrate from either the bounds we're given or the intersection points of the function, the top function minus the bottom function. And that's how you find area. What if the functions intersect in multiple places? And we want to find the area between f and g. There is no way to find that total area, the green and the yellow together, with one definite integral. But we can just break it up into more than one. So how would we set up a definite integral to find the yellow area? The integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x dx. That's the area in yellow. And then we would have to add to that the area in green, because we want to know the whole area trapped between those two curves. B the to C, F. G of X minus F of X. Okay. Dx. That's the area in green. We add the two together, and we get the total area between F and G. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.